We've got two of the most popular trail pedals on the market here to compare. The Shimano XT Trail and the Crank Brothers Mallet E. Now both of these pedals target the trail slash enduro rider. They offer a slightly larger platform than you get with the traditional cross country pedal. So how do they stack up? Well the Shimano's are slightly cheaper coming in at $179 a pair while the Crank Brothers are $249. You'll find a slight weight advantage to the Shimano's too at just over 400 grams for the pair versus 430 for the Crank Brothers Mallet E's. Now in terms of the features that the pedals have, they are both entirely different as you can see. The approach that they take to the pedal mechanism is very, very different. The Shimano's use a pair of steel jaws versus a four-sided spring that you see with the Crank Brothers. So entirely different architecture and design philosophies behind the pedals, so they're going to ride quite differently, obviously. So what are the highlights and the lowlights of these two pedals? Well, if we look at the Shimano's first, the ease of setup is a real highlight for us. We've never had to muck around with any kind of shims or anything with cleats uh, on these pedals. It's always just been a matter of bolting the cleats on, adjusting the release tension of the pedal to suit our personal preferences, and then riding. We also find the consistency of the entry and exit out of these pedals to be a real highlight. You know when you're in, there's a very positive snap when you click in and when you clip out as well. On the flip side, the low lights for the Shimano are that the profile of the pedal is convex. They don't actually offer a great platform for when you're not clipped in. So if you miss an entry, especially if it's muddy or wet, you don't have the same uh, stable platform to stand on that you get with the Crank Brothers. The mechanism of the pedal definitely isn't as resistant to mud buildup as well. So if you're riding in gloopy conditions, there are far more places for the crap to collect in there and gum the pedal up. When it comes to the Crank Brothers, the highlights for this pedal are definitely the ride feel and how similar it feels to a uh, flat pedal in many regards. There's a huge amount of support underfoot and uh, some features like the grub screws and just the texture of the whole pedal itself mean that there's plenty of friction there between your pedal and the shoe. So if you're not clipped in, if you miss that entry, you know that you've still got quite a good platform to stand on there uh, and you don't feel like you're going to slip off the pedals easily and that's quite reassuring. There's also almost nowhere for mud to build up on these pedals, which is great if you're riding in gloopy conditions. The uh, spring design and the open architecture of the pedal means that all that crap just falls straight through. On the downside with the Crank Brothers pedal, we found this setup to be quite fiddly. We initially tried running the pedal without any shims underneath our cleat, uh, and we couldn't clip in or clip out easily. There was just too much friction between the pedal and the shoe. So we had to put shims underneath the cleat, which is something we've rarely had to do before and we've never had to do with the Shimano pedal. Uh, so that initial setup period is a little bit more fiddly and feels slightly more gimmicky than the Shimano's in some regards. The other downside slash difference with these pedals and the Shimano's is the feeling of engagement and release. It definitely has a lot more vagueness to it than you get with the Shimano's. Not so much on the entry, but on the release. You certainly feel like you ease out of these pedals rather than snapping out of them when you disengage. Now that's something that we got used to quite quickly, but it is definitely a real point of difference uh, between the two. So which one should you choose? Well, it really does come down to personal preference, and we hate sitting on the fence with this kind of stuff, but there are so many differences in terms of the ride feel between these pedals that it is really gonna come down to what suits your style and also what you get used to. The Shimano's definitely have the edge in terms of that set and forget reliability. If you're moving the cleats between different shoes, these are gonna be a much easier pedal to get along with. On the other hand, we love the wet weather performance of the Crank Brothers, and we really do appreciate the stability underfoot, especially if you're not clipped in. So those are the differences as we perceive them. You pay your money, you make your choices, you're going to be very happy with either of these.